Hello everyone, it's Emmy Lou again. We're gonna draw a meerkat. It's my fourth video, so let's go. Uh, we're gonna draw it in the style of, just moving the camera, in David Shepherd. As in, we're gonna draw it using the ideas of David Shepherd, because he loved drawing animals. So we are gonna love drawing a meerkat today. So all you need is a piece of paper, a pencil, my beloved chalk pastels. Let's go. Let's go. So all we need to do is this is going to be cut mostly the head and we're going to do it quite big. So subscribe if you like this video. So at the bottom, bottom button, uh, you're going to do a nice big. Think of it like an egg. An egg. It's like an Easter egg, isn't it? Let's be honest. Okay, yummy Easter egg. And then we're going to do a nose. So the nose is going to just to go there so think of it like um it's like an oven other egg a mini egg mini eggs mm. so then we're just going to touch the top of the egg the little mini egg and we're just going to go wee. so it's a little bit like you're creating a shape that looks i don't know like a c shape then you're just going to touch the bottom of the nose or the bottom of the egg and just going to do a nice mouth. So just a little line like that, like a little smile. And then you're going to do the eye. I really like the eyes. They look really cute. So it's somewhere in your egg, you're going to do a shape like a rainbow. So a little bit like a rainbow. Then you're going to do underneath. An upside down rainbow, like a U shape. U shape. And then just do a line inside. Now, if you're using a coloured pencil, you could just colour it in. I'm just going to colour it in so we know that that's the eye and it's kind of like black. And then all we need now is the other eye. So that's just going to go there because you can't really see all of that eye. You just know that there's an eye there. And then you're going to do. It's a bit tricky this bit, so we need to rub out with the rubber, not the masking tape, but this is what I have. We're just going to touch the top here, so touch that bit there, and just go like that. Then, so I ruined my masking tape because it's coming off in bits, rub out that line so you end up with this. It's very subtle, as in it's not, it's very slight the way I've done it. And then here, just zigzaggy. So you want it zigzaggy, like he's furry, or she, let's do a she, because I keep doing a he every five minutes. So it's a furry, furry bit of cheek he's got. She, she's got. And then we're going to do an ear, so you just want a triangle like that. If you can, a bit of a triangle. Now the whole thing is fluffy. So we're just going to do very slight, which means don't, whoa, go over it like too much. Just do a little bit like that. It's like um, it's like zigzags or like triangles, I suppose. This bit's quite dark, but we don't need to worry about it now. Right now, we're going to do the body because at the moment it probably just doesn't look like much, but it will do. Don't you worry. So we're just going to touch there, touch the giant egg, and you're just going to go down like that. But you want to create a bit of a back, so you're just going to go whoa, all the way down. So a little bit like that. And then you touch the other bit, which is about there. So under the nose, about there, you're just gonna do this. Just gonna go down. Don't create like the back, but just do a little bit of a bobbly bit. When I say bobbly bit, I mean it comes out a bit. So it looks a bit like a skittle now, which is awesome. Um, so we've done that bit. We're going to do an arm because they always sort of sit like, I can't do it, but they sit with an arm sort of, or they stand with their arm to the side. So somewhere in the body, you want to do a shape like that in there. Then on top, you want to do the other shape. So it's a little bit like a chip. I can tell it's lunchtime again because I'm so hungry. Um, and then down, down. So it's just his arm, he's just, it's really hard to explain, but he's, he's got a fluffy arm and he's just 
he's just sort of doing he's just sort of doing he's going a bit like when they sort of do that a little bit but not quite so once we've done that we're just going to rub out something but you want to just take your pencil and just touch this bit here just that bit there and you want to take it down to the egg so just take it down to there just there right this is where the masking tape or the rubber comes into play you're going to rub out rub away gonna uh, rub out this gonna rub out that bit and you're also gonna rub out the this line because you don't really need it whoa looking quite funky now looks like he's <laughs> looks like he's been to hospital because he's got all bandages on him but that's not we've rubbed it out with the masking tape Okay, so this is most of the meerkat. This is what you got, right? The meerkat, you could do another arm if you want, like he's doing that. So he's... But, um... What was I going to say? He's, um... He's in, like, the desert. Or he's in, you know, sand. So we could do some, like, weird sand dunes in the background. Like, just like that, if you like. Let's do a nice sun in the sky probably very hot where he is so we could do a nice sun righty ho so what we need now is we're going to do um, a sandy color want a nice sandy color or a nice creamy sandy color it doesn't let's do a sandy color let's just keep this and a dark brown and a black let's go let's go so we're going to do all the light sandy color it doesn't really matter which color you use so all the lights and you follow. Oh, on, it's gonna go there. Righty ho. Just gotta try and figure out where I put my shade. Okay, and then smudge away. Blend. Blend away. Chalk is awesome. I think I use chalk for a lot of things. Chalk's found in the ground in case you're not sure where chalk comes from. There's um, a place in England in Ashridge where they've got loads of chalk mountains and I pick up chalks normally, up chalk hills. And um, it's all white in a, in a stone, well, it looks like a stone. And I take it with me and sometimes use that. So I might try and bring some when I'm in England and, and do it and see if I can actually use it that's not in a pastel, it'd be quite funky. Okay, so dark brown, let's get the dark brown. Now, this is really cool. You just wanna like outline things. So we're gonna, just oh my word it's gone all over the floor uh, you've got to be a bit careful because it's going to be a little bit messy <laughs> okay so you want to outline outline the little guy or the little girl the little female so outline it in dark brown you're doing this dark brown mine's not that dark but it's going to be dark brown Right, once you've done that, you're just going to go round with one finger. You could just kind of be a bit more rugged with it, as in not too worried about stuff, and just go around like that. Okay. Now, with the dark brown still, you want to just do a bit of shadow. So you're just going to do a bit of shadow under the eye. And just a little bit of shadow there, but not too much. And then draw like quite a lot underneath here and a little bit under his arm. Or a little bit under his ear as well. While you're there. And then you're just gonna smudge away. Blend. Keep calling it smudging. If it wasn't for the masking tape, this would look superb. Obviously it looks superb anyway, though, doesn't it? Then we take our beautiful black and we're gonna do bit of black for the ear, black nose, black eye, and the eye there is black, but be super careful because you kind of want to keep that white bit there, because it kind of looks cool with the white bit, so just outline the ear in black might be better, and you could probably do that in black, couldn't you? Just going to do a little bit in black, but not too much, not too much, and then maybe under, under there a bit of black, a little bit crazy now. 
Right, and then you get one finger, one finger, and just smudge, draw over, draw over. Good smudge under there, because it's a real big shadow under there. Right, there's your beautiful meerkat. I actually quite like her. She's really cute. Right, I'm going to wash my hands, because it's all black now, which is quite difficult to sort of do the yellow, because I want to do the sunshine. So all before I do that, I'm just going to get a rubber. And because the sun's shining, it can shine on the head. So you could do a little bit of rubbing out to show that it's shiny, like it's um, light. But you don't have to. It's just an extra thing to do. It always looks quite cool when you add shadow and things like that. Um, and I'd probably get a bit of brown as well and do a little bit more there, a little bit dark brown. But I'm being like super picky now, so you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Okay. Now, yellow. I'm going to wash my hands. No, I'm not. I'm just going to wipe up my apron. Okay, yellow. Yellow for the sun. Now, you could do like a cool, ready, purpley sun if you like. It doesn't have to be yellow. And to do the mountains or the sand dunes if you like, I'm just going to do like a bit of dark brown. Yellow makes pictures look really nice actually, so I could have done yellow. A bit of dark brown there because it will make it stand out. And this kind of colour. We could do a different colour to the meerkat, otherwise it might end up looking like these two camouflage, but they are quite camouflage. Then just smudge it in. Blend, blend. Like a bit of blending. A bit of blending. Okay, that is your meerkat. Now obviously you can do a lot more to it. You can add grass, you can put the sky, you can do whatever you like. You could do a second one and you could have like him facing his friend, it'll look quite cool. Um, so go crazy with your meerkats and uh, let me know what you think of the video and what you want me maybe to draw uh, next. Um, I'm gonna be drawing a flamingo for Maddie, one of our subscribers, so make sure you watch Maddie. And um, yeah, subscribe to my channel, that'd be awesome. Um, and then you can let me know what you'd like to draw. Uh, just one tiny thing would look really cool actually, I've just realized. You could outline the sun in red because then it will kind of make the whole thing look kind of cool. Yeah, so I'm Emmy Lou, I'm an artist, and next week or next next YouTube clip we'll be doing um we'll be doing a I nearly forgot, a flamingo. And then we're doing a kingfish, it'll be cool. Alright then, take care uh, from Vienna. I shall see you soon. Bye!